Okay, I'm going to go over mounting a light kit onto this mower. Uh, we don't have any uh, lights on it, so at night you have to depend on uh, if you're out using your cell phone or flashlight to get back with it. So I'm going to put this light on here. And then over here, there was a plug in here. So I'm going to mount the switch right in here. I'm going to mount it, then run the wiring down here, which would be safe and out of the way. So to start with, this is this is the light and I've got it centered I, I found center in there and I drilled one hole so then I'll put a bolt in there and I can drill the other one and then uh, we'll go from there okay now I have the bolt holes drilled and just the bolt stuck in there I don't have it fastened up or anything because what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take this cover off there's some uh, Torx bits here I take this cover off because I can't get back behind it to put the bolts on so that'd be the next thing is I'll take that cover off and we'll go from there. Well, I have the screws out. There was two in the front and then there's one over here and one over here and there's three across the back. So let's see what it looks like underneath. And a little bit of grass in there. So I'll clean all that out. The reason I had to get down into there is because where this cover goes, if you look at this cover, on the back side, this pocket back in here is what's back in here. So you can't get back to the back of that to put any uh, nuts on the back of it. So I will uh, uh, show you what's next with that. I've got uh, the nuts ready to uh, put on the bolts and we'll go from there. Okay, I've got the light here. They come with a couple little pads. They'll go on like this on each one of them in between where it's at. Now these came with two bolts and there was just the bolt, one washer and one nut. And being on the back of that where I can't really get to them to check them, I put another washer, a lock washer on there and I did grab an extra nut in case I want to double nut it back there. I want to make sure it doesn't come off. So next thing I'll be doing is mounting this to the front of this cover, this cover right up here and then bolt them on down. So let me pause it and I'll show you when I get that closer. Okay, now I have the bolts through here and I'll put that second washer on here and then we'll put a lock washer on there and then we're gonna take one of the nuts and then we'll tighten that down on here. Now I'll tighten them a little bit later but I wanna get them started. So I'll do the same thing to the other side. And as you'll, you'll see, there's the, the, one of the nuts I grabbed is, looks like a little bit larger, but I'll put them on the same way. And then now then, I'll be able to tighten those up. Once I get that tight, then I can always come back and adjust the angle of the light right here once I get it all mounted back up. But now I also need to drill a hole in here to run the cable through, put a little grommet to help protect the cable. So I still need to do that before I can put this back on. Okay, now I, once I mounted this up, I knew where it was going to go. Now i got to have a way to get the cable inside. So that's where I'm going to run it in. But I'm going to put a little grommet on the end of here. So that when it goes through there, as a vibration, the metal on here doesn't start cutting through the insulation. So I'll come back when I get that hole out to the biggest size I need for put this grommet in and grommet in. And I'll show you that installation. Don't know if you can see it, but there's a little ridge from uh, using a step drill to come through. There's a little bit of ridge here, so I need to file that off so the grommet will go on. Okay, I have it in. I put a couple of uh, wire ties on here just so that it won't pull out. And now I have these ends here. What I'll do is I'll put my other cable on here and I'll put some shrink wrap on each one of them individually. And it's there. And I have a, another old cable that has two wires in it that I'm going to be using for it. I don't know what it was for, but it's it's got a little connector like this on it. And only two wires, so I, that's all I have. So what I'll do is I'll go up here and I'll feed it through where the switch is going to go. Right here. I'll feed it down through there, find a nice safe place for it to run, and then come out right up through here. And then I'll fasten to the... Uh, 
back of it right back here and then that's where I'll make my connection all right I got the wire run and I forgot to record that part of it here but what I did was I took one of these like this and put on one of these wires and then I put this one on the other one and then so the mating pairs you could only fasten them up one way and then I'll get to the other end and I'll have to put two of these on to go to the bottom of the switch because the switches they have just two prongs on there so that's where I'm at and I put some shrink tube on it to help keep it together and keep it dry and then I have one of these uh, wire keepers that I'll slide over the top of that and that'll help protect it now here's where I'll be making the connection in here and I'm gonna set this on this has got a boot on it to keep it out of the weather so I'll put it on off and it on and I was sitting in here and that doesn't feel as comfortable as go ahead and put it in this way so I'll make this hole back here a little bit wider to put the switch in so that'll turn the lights on and that'll turn the lights off okay now I've enlarge that hole that was there so that now this is going to start fitting down inside of here and I'll finish getting it set up. I might have a little bit of tweaks before I push it in there. Just want to make sure it's going to fit and that'll be the switch. Then you just have to wire it up. And I've also taken and wired up the power for it. I'm going to put a fuse in here so label it light so I know it's for the lights in case it's something else there. I've got this going in here. The wire I used had brown and gray, so I'm using brown as the ground and gray as the hot side. And then at the bottom of the, the connectors coming in, I've wired the two brown from the one coming from the battery. And this is the one I run from up here to the light. So these two here are the ones that go to the light. And this comes here. So now then I'll just connect these two here to two of those terminals and then when I turn the switch on we'll have power. Of course I have to put a fuse in first. Alright, have the switch in. Works now. If you look on the car over there, lights up. 